Hi, I'm Kushan. I'm the creator of the BFR Knee Wraps. Before we get started with this video, I just want to go over some tips as it applies to BFR training. So with BFR training, a couple things I want you to be aware of is number one, what you're trying to do, the goal is to slow blood flow away from the limbs. So you have arteries that carry blood flow in. Arteries are a little bit deeper. So if you apply too much pressure or if the, you know, if the strap you're using is too narrow and you apply too much pressure, uh, like some of the things I've seen out there, then you could more likely occlude the arterial blood flow, which is what you don't want. The superficial venous blood flow, which are more close to the surface, that's what superficial means, the venous blood return is what carries the blood out of the limbs, out of the arms or legs. So when you're doing BFR training, the goal is really to only apply the right amount of pressure for the venous occlusion. So you're slowing the blood flow from leaving the limbs. So that's why what I always recommend is when you're tightening your bands, you want to make sure that you start, if we're talking about a qualitative scale of a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being tightest, you want to start at about a 5 to a 7. And I almost recommend starting a little bit less than you think. A lot of people actually over tighten, in my opinion, in the beginning, not realizing that anytime you do any strength training, you're actually doing occlusion training. You're occluding blood flow internally anytime you get a pump. So I recommend going a little bit less tight than you think, maybe a number 5 on a scale of 1 to 10, and then uh, do a high volume warm up. Use very lightweight uh, or bands and you want to do a lot of repetitions, 20, 30 reps or more, and you want to do a lot of sets, four to six sets or more, uh, with short rest periods, maybe 20 seconds of rest in between sets. And what you'll find is that after you finish that warm up, you'll go from being a five to about a seven, so you'll be at optimal pressure. Another thing I highly recommend is just checking throughout the workout, putting your thumb into the palm of the hand and just looking at how fast the color refills. Optimal pressure, they say, is usually about a two to a three, uh, two to three seconds in refill time. Uh, if it's less than two seconds, that probably means that uh, it's too loose, and if it's more than three seconds, that means it's probably too tight. And if at any time you have any numbness, tingling, any pain whatsoever, take the bands off uh, or, or loosen them because they're most likely too tight. Uh, another misconception is that you should be wearing the bands uh, closer to the joint if, for example, you're training forearms or calves. It's a big misconception. You actually don't need to do that and you don't want to do that. There's a lot of nerves uh, near the elbow and near the knee and you don't want to uh, put pressure on those nerves, so it's not necessary. The other thing about BFR training, the, the, great, the great thing about it is that it has a systemic effect. And what that means is that when you wear them on the upper arms, for example, even if you train chest and back, you're getting a benefit for chest and back. A lot of people think that it's really just for arms or quads, whatever muscle is closest to where you're actually putting the strap, it's not true. It has a systemic effect. So it's, it's tapping into your brain, which makes changes throughout the body, as well as making changes in your biochemistry in the blood flow. So, so just remember, it's not just for biceps and triceps, it's not just for quads uh, and glutes, it actually does have a big benefit for forearms and grip and calves, even when you wear it at the top of the thighs or at the top of the arms. So. Uh, now, let's talk about your specific bands. Wraps. These knee wraps are 80 inches long and 3 inches wide. They're nice and thick and they're also super comfortable. We also designed these to be dual purpose. So you can actually use them as regular knee wraps, meaning you can wrap them around the knees and use them to provide support to the knees for anything like lunges, heavy squats, leg presses, you name it. Or you could also use it for something called BFR training, which also stands for blood flow restriction training. Um, if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll explain in a second. But essentially, with BFR training, you would just wrap these around the upper leg. We provided a long, nice portion of soft Velcro, so that way, we did this on purpose, so that when you're doing it for BFR training, no matter what your leg size is, you'll be able to actually secure it and hold it tightly in place uh, by doing so. So, let's talk for a moment about BFR training. Couple tips, if you are doing BFR training, Basically, what that is, is a method that allows you to slow the blood flow from leaving the limbs. So we're applying pressure, not too much pressure, but enough pressure to apply to the veins, which carry blood flow away. We're not applying blood flow to the arteries, which, which carry the blood flow in, but just to the veins, which carry blood flow away from the legs. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to train with really, really lightweight or body weight. You train with high repetitions, 20 to 30 repetitions or more, and you do a lot of sets, four to six sets, sometimes more, with short rest periods, maybe 20 to 30 seconds of rest between sets, and short workouts, maybe 15 minutes of a workout uh, while you wear these for the entire duration. And what it allows you to do, it allows you to gain muscle and strength while you're training with lightweight. And there's 
tons of studies, I think over 200 studies to date on this topic, over 25 years of research on BFR training. So I highly recommend it if you haven't heard of it. Uh, look it up, try it, but we designed these specifically so you can do both. So if you're doing BFR training, you'd wear them at the top of the legs. BFR training has a nice, uh, what's called a systemic effect, which means that it actually will make changes in the whole body when you wear it. So even if you're training calves, you don't need to move it closer to the calves. And I actually don't recommend that because you have, you have nerves near the joints, like the knees and elbows that you don't really want to be applying pressure to. So I recommend wearing it at the top of the thighs, just below the glutes when you're doing uh, any type of leg training, even if it is calves. So again, you could dual purpose these. And uh, let me just show you really quick how to wrap these around the knees as well as how to wrap it around the upper thighs for BFR training. Let me first show you how to wrap it around the knee. So basically you're gonna unravel it. You should see that the wrap itself kind of curls up. And this is gonna be the side. This is basically the, the, the side that's gonna be touching the body. So this is the side that we wanna start touching the body. So that way the Velcro at the end matches up properly. I usually start it just below the knee. You're gonna start with a decent amount of pressure there. And then you're just gonna basically go about halfway up the band each time you wrap around. So it's about halfway. Um, if you wanna make them really secure, you can really uh, get an extra little tighten behind the knee. So every time you go around, pull it a little bit more behind the knee to make it really tight if you want to. And that's pretty much it, you'll go around. And the goal is to pretty much make sure there's no gap in between so that your leg, you know, your skin or your leg isn't really showing in between. So that way you have good coverage, you have good support around the knee, front and back. And that way when you bend, uh, you have good support. If you're gonna do this for BFR training, pretty much the same concept except you're not gonna be wrapping it around the knee. Instead, you're gonna be wrapping it around the upper thigh just below the gluteal fold. So this one, you're gonna hold this band in place, wrap over it, make sure it doesn't slip, and you're just gonna wrap it around. It's all gonna be basically flush like this, so it just wraps over itself a few times until you get to the Velcro, and then you have this nice long portion of Velcro that no matter what your leg size is, it should accommodate you and secure it in place, and you're ready to go.